What up, I'm Ben Freeman from Freemanpedia.com and a question I get a lot is, where are we supposed to be at this point in the year? Like, are we too far behind? Are we too far ahead? Turns out there's no better way to determine the speed of a course unless you create a historical kill list. So let's do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna say your teacher is going too fast or too slow. There is a method to their madness, probably. But I will give you a rough approximation of how the course should be chunking out throughout the year. This whole thing was sparked when I heard that over in AP Euro, they have a saying, Napoleon should be dead by Christmas. <laughs> and that made me think, why doesn't AP World have a kill list? Needless to say, we do now. But let me preface this with a legit course breakdown. You can see the four periods, post-classical, early modern, modern, and contemporary. You need to be thinking in these periods. These four chunks of time frame the whole course. 1200 to 1450, 1450 to 1750, which is where my class is in early November right now, 1750 to 1900, and finally 1900 to present, which really means 2001. And below them, you can see the units that fall into these periods. Now, a lot of that stuff you won't see until later in the year. But even now, again, my class is right between units three and four right now. You need to think of things in these periodic chunks of time. Back to the kill list. So if AP Euro gets to kill Napoleon by Christmas, we're gonna kill ourselves some tyrants. Turns out Napoleon is just too European for AP World. Our first target, Aurangzeb. That's right, the Mughal Emperor who was just the worst. To the Hindus and the Sikhs and a lot of other people in South Asia in Unit 3. He's the first to go. When Quarter 1 is done, Unit 3 should be done. And that means Old Man Aurangzeb has breathed his last out fighting the Marathas. Now, midterm is tougher because different places use different midterm breaks. Some schools end quarter two with the Christian Christmas break. Others, like where I work in Virginia, end in mid-January. But either way, your teacher should have their sights set firmly on Captain Communism himself, Karl Marx. Unit 5 ends with the reactions to the Industrial Revolution, and Karl Marx and his Communist Manifesto need to be in the ground by the end of quarter two. So we've killed an intolerant Mughal and Marxist Karl. By the time you've ended quarter three, Hitler's gotta be gone. Unit 7 has a hard out in the year 1945, and Hitler's death is about the best thing to happen in 1945. So when you're ending quarter three in late March, somewhere around late March, Hitler better be a smoldering pile of ash outside of his stupid Nazi bunker. Quarter four is easier. You gotta finish the course. And the last real year to know in AP World Modern is 2001, but I'm gonna bump you up a little bit here. By the exam in May, Osama bin Laden's gotta be dead. Mr. Al-Qaeda 9-11 needs to be staring down the barrel of SEAL Team 6. So in the end, the whole thing looks like this. Arangzeb needs to be dead by the end of quarter one. Karl Marx needs to be dead by the end of quarter two. Hitler needs to be dead by the end of quarter three. And Bin Laden needs to be gone by exam day. Again, your teacher has their own plan, but if you follow this kill list, it should let you know about where you should be at the end of each quarter. Now, if these silly AP World videos are helping, hit like and subscribe. I'll keep posting these until I retire in roughly 11 years. Good luck on the exam in May, and I'll see you next time.